Hi, good evening everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Playoff Bound. This is a new segment I put on the channel to rebuck the idiots out there that claim they're Buffalo Sabres fans and have done nothing but whine and complain. And I see some of the regulars I had to ban on my channel. Just some of these guys that they just want to hear themselves, right? They want to hear themselves. They don't care about this team. Not when you can go out there and spread negativity and just draw, you know, I'm a big believer, guys. What happens out there in the universe, you know, plays a role in our life. And you keep this negative energy, this gray cloud around us. It's like enough already. So I said, you know what? Screw this with these little children. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new segment on the channel. So there, this is for you negative Buffalo fans that have given up that say Adams is making all sorts of mistakes. Have you looked at the hits? Do you guys realize there's a thing in the game called physical play? This is important. Like uh, everybody, I get today's kids though. Like the, the, the 20-year-old kids today, all they think about is goal scoring because they've been brought up in a league that's soft, right? But we that have been fans for a long time know better. And uh, take a good look at the bottom six now, guys. Wake up. For you negative fans out there, oh, well, we traded away Savoy. Yeah, yeah, but we only got this, maybe the second fastest guy in the entire NHL. You know, like that doesn't count though, right? I mean, he only scored 12 goals, so that doesn't count. You know, it doesn't count that he's good defensively. That doesn't count. It doesn't count that he's big. He's not a small dude either. That doesn't count. All that counts is little foot, a five foot nine guy that played like five minutes in the NHL. And all of a sudden, Adams is an idiot. We got to get rid of him. We have to fire him. And this is why, thank God, that we have a general manager who just doesn't care what we have to say. Okay? Doesn't care. You had the clowns that wanted to get on this team. It's going to be a bit of a rant, guys, because you know what? I made this segment so I could rant in the first one. So be prepared. Get your popcorn. Let's go. This is for the negative folks. Okay, guys? Remind, uh, let's remind the negative Buffalo fans, what we're trying to accomplish here because they want, they can't get what they want. Let's try and remind them, okay? So this is what we're trying to get. You understand? <laughs> this, is, this is what the Sabres are trying to get. This is what they're trying to get. It's not about just making a damn playoffs. We have to go all the way with it eventually. It's not just about making the playoffs. But right now, playoff bound, because guys on this channel, I'll tell you what, you know how I hate negativity. And I gave my opinion on the trade. I didn't like it at first. But the more it sunk in, the more I understand what, what the need was. And, and you got the most idiotic thing I hear out there, guys, is that we overpaid for Malenstein. We gave up a second rounder that we moved down a few spots in the draft, right? In the first round, we moved down a few spots. So it's like we got Malenstein for moving down a few spots. If we would have done that, let's say, nobody would say nothing. But the fact we traded a second round, oh, it's a massive overpayment. Yeah, yeah, we're really swimming in massive, uh, massive success in the second round, eh? Take away Paterka. What have we done in the second round the last decade, guys? Really? I mean, not much. There's not much we can brag about. So let's not go there, really. Second round is usually where we swing and miss, really, most of the time. If anything, we have a general manager that finally hit a home run with uh, Paterka in the second round. And you guys might recall, we traded up to get him. But no, does Adams get any credit for that? No, of course not. Of course not. That would be, that would be too realistic, right? That would be too realistic for some of these guys that, that just really want to hear themselves. And uh, really, that's not what I want to turn this video on. It's not just about me ranting. I'm pissed off because I think our, our fans, okay, the, the ones that complain, they complain all the time. If you look historically at their notes over the years, I can see the same fans that complained about this move, let's say for Malenstein, okay? If you look years ago at their comments, same negative, wimpy shit. Same crap. So please, don't tell me, oh, well, I just want to rant because, you know, like I've had it with the Sabres. Well, then, you know, you want to hear the best one I've seen out there, guys? The best one I've seen out there? One fan said, that's it, he's becoming a Leafs or Bruins fan. It's like, 
then you're not a Sabres fan to start with. So who cares what you do? I care less for fans like that, guys. I designed this channel to keep those wusses away from here. Really. Let's talk about some positive things, guys. Positive crap for those idiotic wusses that can't seem to handle being patient and waiting it out. Wait it out. Oh, Adam should have been fired yesterday. No, often I see that. Adam should have been fired, and, but it's always by the same negative fans, the same negative idiots that say the same crap over and over, over and over and over. And they tried to do it on my channel. I had to ban because I won't tolerate it here. No chance. Uh-uh. I put the money into this channel. You're not coming on my channel <laughs> and pulling that crap. Uh-uh. Not happening. All right. Now. Let's talk about this. This is important. Let's look at this clip. Okay, where have the Sabres improved? Physicality. Buffalo's fourth line is definitely a more physical group than it was a season ago. Last season, Gergensen's, Krebs, and Ocposa combined for 204 hits, actually. That's a mistake. It was 320 hits. I won't mention who the Arthur <laughs> is of this article, but they're way off. It was 320 hits. Malenstein, Lafferty, and Kubel. Obey Kubel combined for 542 hits. That's a mistake. It's actually 591 hits. Those three also play fast and direct, which are attributes the Sabres targeted. Zucker also had a career high 197 hits two seasons ago. He actually got that part right. So that's an element he can bring too. This will be a much stronger team on the forecheck than it was a season ago. Gilbert brings some of that edge also on the blue line, averaging just under two hits per game for the Calgary Flames over the last two seasons in a limited role. Speed. Not only are the fourth liners the Sabres, the Sabres added willing to, and able to hit, but they're also all fast skaters. Let's say it again for those negative folks out there. They're all fast skaters. Got that class? Write it down. This will be noticeably faster team than the one Buffalo Ice last season. Based on NHL age data complied by Jay Fresh, Obi Kubel, Lafferty, and Malenstein, all ranked in the top 50 and 20 mile per hour speed bursts per 60 minutes. The Sabres want them to play faster under Lindy Ruff and got some players who can help them do that. I don't know how they made all this mistake with the hits, but I'm, I'm telling you the numbers I'm giving you are the right ones, okay? So last year, Gergensen's Krebs Akposo did not combine for 204, they combined for 320. Malenstein, Lafferty, Kubel, not 542, 591, okay? So take it for what it is. Now, I'll give you this number. Then we're gonna talk about, uh... now I did, I did the numbers here myself, okay? Our bottom, our, our number four line, which I'm going with Krebs, Ocposo, Gergensen. So last two years, 558 hits in 433 games, okay? 1.29 hits per game per player. Last year, 591 hits in 221 games, 2.69 hits per game per player with the new added fourth line to this team. So if they're hitting more than double and they scored one more goal, let's get that. Let's put that out there because everybody's going to say, well, they don't score. The negative, that is. First of all, fourth line, you're not supposed to score. You're supposed to hit. Okay, you're supposed to be physical intimidating, and you buy time for your guys to rest and get back on the ice while you wear that team down. Now, the 2.69 hits per game might not sound like a lot, but when you consider they hit double, they weigh the same. I, I did all the weight, the height, and everything. There's no point showing you. It's this much of it. It's the same. It's the same. But they scored one more goal than Krebs, Gergensen, and Ocposo did. So what are you going to say there, negative folks? Come on. At some point, you got to say, you know what? I'm being, I'm being a baby about this, and let's just see what happens, you know? Now, let's look at something else here. Here's a clip. Let's take a look at this. Okay, there's a 2023 four speed burst. They were talking about 20 miles an hour per 60 minutes. Take a look, guys, at number two in the league. 
That's right, McLeod. Number two, right? Number 10, Cabell. Number 12, Lafferty. And then number 46, Malenstein. So we have three of the top 12 guys in the league in this department. And of course, all Adams is doing is getting criticized by, um, by the negative fans that don't know statistics like this. They don't care about this. They want to hear themselves. Let's make this clear, guys. They want to hear themselves. If you want to know if somebody's really negative, here's what I suggest you do. If you see a negative comment, see if they copy pasted that same comment in another form, another form, another form, another form. That's what they do. They go around and they copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. This isn't about trying to be productive. It's about them trying to be heard, them trying to be noticed. Why well, suggest to those guys, find a girlfriend. Hey, look, I haven't dated in a while. You know, I've had some girlfriends in my life. Get a girlfriend. I don't know. Maybe you'll be less lonely and less frustrated if you get a girlfriend. Guys, we have to give this time. We have to give this plan time. We have to give this general manager time. He walked into probably the worst Buffalo Sabres and, and, and then you're going to get these stories. Here's another thing, guys. And yeah, it's a bit of a rant, but not really. But it's a bit, all right? You're going to hear guys saying, well, uh, Eichel went to, uh, Jack Eichel went to, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, Vegas and won a cup. Okay, yeah, but that team was in the finals already. That team was in the finals already. So if that squad was there just years before, so what, do you, what an idiotic statement that is. Oh, well, Sam Reinhardt won a Stanley Cup. What, you're not happy for him? Really? I'm happy for that franchise, period, let alone like him. If you want to complain, say somebody got a cup that maybe shouldn't have, you can say Akpulso then. You know, but maybe Akpulso, like, you know, had so much bad luck over his career, finally caught a break. So good for these guys. Christ almighty. The, the negative things that come out of Buffalo Sabres fans melts. And all they want to do is just hear, again, themselves. Such bullshit, honestly. It's childish crap. This is why I started this channel, to avoid for you channels that, that go out there and you spread that crap. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm like the can of raid and you're the bug. You know what I mean? That's what that is, honestly. Enough already. Enough. Are you a fan or not, you guys out there, the negative ones? Are you fans or not? Because if you are, shut up and cheer your team on. So annoying, guys. It really is. It annoys the hell out of me because I've been a fan over 50 years. I've seen it all, okay? I've seen it all, this franchise. I've seen the highs, the lows. I remember uh, the Malarchuk getting his throat cut. I, I've seen it all. What I haven't seen is the Stanley Cup. That's all that matters right now. That's all that should matter. Did we take steps towards winning a Stanley Cup this offseason? Yes, yes we did. So honestly, shut the hell up with your negative bullshit. Go find a girlfriend or whatever it is you gotta do. I don't know, go gamble, I, whatever. But don't bring, it to, don't bring it to the fans that are already hurting. Kids see your videos. Some of you guys out there, kids see your videos and they'll follow that crap. Ridiculous, really, shame on you guys that do that. Like, God, I'll never do that on this channel, guys. I'll, fr I'll get frustrated, yes, and I'll, I'll have a, 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 what do you, a video, and, but I'll never take shots at the city. I'll never take shots at the people. I'll never take shots at the management. And I sure as hell won't take shots at the franchise. And I won't take shots at an owner that saved this team. I'm not going to pretend that didn't happen. So enough. Really, enough. All right, this is my first episode of Playoff Bound. Because, guys, I'm going to put it in a nutshell for you. I believe the Sabres are making the playoffs this year, hands down. 
hands down. Like, I, I don't even think it's an issue. In my head, they're in this year. They're in. This, this solidifies it. This, what he's done in the bottom six solidifies it, okay? He's put, like, the fa we, the, our fastest player, our fastest, fastest player was just acquired for a second-round pick. Okay, what if Lindy can turn him into a 25-goal guy? People say, well, he hasn't ever got 25 goals. That's not what I said. What if Lindy can turn him, write it down, into a 25 goal guy. What if he can? Then what? All of a sudden, Adams did a good move. Yeah, but Adams did this and this and that. That's what these people do, okay? They look for negative crap. And what worries me when I see these kind of people that say these kind of things online and <laughs> life's too short to be negative, okay? So this guy on this channel, Till he has absolute proof that we got hosed in a deal, not your opinions, because that's I don't care. I don't care about that. Till I see it, until I live it, and, and, and you know what? You're going to have people say, well, you're going to see it. No. 100% guaranteed, no, we did not lose any of these trades. No. Adams doesn't get murdered in trades. That's another thing you're hearing out there. Oh, Adams loses trades. No, we didn't lose the Eichel deal. No, just because he won a cup? You're going to say we lost that deal? Because O'Reilly won a cup? Would you? Are you telling me you're disappointed we got Tage Thompson back for Ryan O'Reilly, who was making seven and a half million bucks, who was a pylon in Buffalo, that could just win face-offs? Please, give me, give me Tage Thompson. Give me the big centerman any day than that. It's not even close, okay? You're looking at results that happen to the players and using that against us, okay? That's like being a deadbeat dad that doesn't pay any alimony, okay? Then complaining to your ex-wife that the kid's clothes need to be changed. That's what you're doing. So please, don't even try using the fact these guys have won cups elsewhere. That's so, that's so like lame, really. Please, like, go somewhere else at least with the conversation. Oh, well, Ryan O'Reilly won the MVP. Yeah, he was really going to win MVP with us, guys. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, like, you, you know, let's, let's, be, let's face it here. We had a bunch of spoiled brats. We had to get rid of them. And we got a bunch of good guys in here right now. And what we just got to do is fine-tune everything now. That's it. So we're missing a top six guy. Jesus Christ. How, guys, think about this. Think about this. We're one piece away. For many of you that believe that, for me, I think we're good now, the way we are. We are good right now. We could just bring it up through the pipeline, really. I don't want Ellers. I'll tell you right now. I don't want Ellers. He doesn't hit for, for hell. He doesn't do anything like No, no, no. I, do, I don't want... There, there's certain guys I don't want to get and pay six, seven million bucks for. No thanks. No, no, no. I'm good. We got to lock in all those guys next year. No. Absolutely no. So look, that's my first video, okay, of Playoff Bound, because... When the Sabres make the playoffs this year, and they will make the playoffs this year, you'll say Wayne said so at least on his channel, and he stuck by the team because that's really what this video is about. I want to really go out there and, 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 and just say I'm sticking by the decisions this team makes right now, okay? So I ranted. We'll have a normal video to close out the night. See you in that one.